If you didn't watch the last video, this is my new to me Lexus LS400 I pulled out of a barn. Why is there so many birds? Trying to do a video for the internet. So yeah, this is a Lexus LS400 I bought in the last video. You guys may have seen it. And today we're going to find out probably why it, was, it wasn't cheap. But I mean, it was cheaper than they'd usually go for. Uh, what's exactly wrong with it? Because it was taken off the road or at least left in a barn for around seven years. We need to find out why today. Because of course, I would like to MOT this in the next video. I would like to maybe get some bits done that need to be done for the MOT. Because if you didn't know this car actually went to the Nürburgring it was bought by a bunch of lads they all jumped in it drove to the ring and of course as you'll see from the picture on the screen it's been around the ring which is a really really cool story and this was in 2013 so now it's 2024 it's 11 years later it's been sat in a barn or at least off the road for the last six to seven years we need to find out one what's underneath all that dust although I won't bore you guys with a cleaning video because I'm horrendous at cleaning cars I want to know what's under the dust I want to probably assess if there's any crazy rust, if there's any major problems that will stop us from getting what we want out of this car. Well, I want to just drive it around and go, oh, I've got a Lexus LS400, put the heated seats on in the back and wash the headlights from in the cabin. Yeah, I'm sad and I like LS400s. But yeah, we need to find out, especially in this video, what are the hidden problems, why it's been taken off the road and did I actually buy something bad? Is there something we don't know about this car and the reason why it was that. There's always a reason, isn't there? But you don't know what it is until you find out. So we're going to find out together, and that's going to be great. Right, let's pull the car in. We'll start it up. You'll hear an exhaust blow as well, because of course it's got an exhaust blow. Let's uh, see what's under the dirt, shall we? It is a bit anti-me to clean a car like this. Quite, <laughs> it's so sad. I love patinaed cars, and I love the idea of something being sat for a long period of time and then collecting dust and stuff. That doesn't just happen overnight. It happens in years of just neglect. Quite cool as it looks. So I'll put a little montage in, and then we'll move it and uh, and clean it up. BetterHelp is a paid partner in today's video. I recently became a father and it's been an incredible experience. But I have to admit, trying to balance the demands of YouTube and becoming a father for the first time has been a huge challenge. There were days where I felt completely overwhelmed, like I was being pulled in multiple different directions at once. I'll be up all night with my other half helping out with the baby and then going straight into making YouTube videos the very next morning. To manage that and this business, which is a YouTube channel, it was exhausting, both physically and emotionally. I realized that I needed to talk to someone about what I was going through, so I decided to give therapy a try. And I'm so glad I did. Having a space where you can express your fears, frustrations, and doubts was a huge game changer. My therapist has helped me develop strategies for managing stress and setting manageable expectations and finding a better work-life balance. Honestly, I don't know how I would have been able to get through through this challenging time without the support. Therapy has given me the tools and the perspective to be the best father and the best entrepreneur I could be. That's why I'm excited that BetterHelp is a paid partner in today's video. BetterHelp is an online therapy platform that makes getting help more accessible and convenient than ever. They will match you with a credible therapist that can connect with you via video, chat, phone, or text. And if you're not vibing with the therapist, you can actually change easily and switch to a new therapist at no extra cost. If you're struggling with something in life like I seem to do all the time with management, expecting so much from myself, whether it's a massive transaction from becoming a parent or just everyday anxiety and stress in different aspects of your life, I encourage you guys to check out BetterHelp. They're offering you guys a special discount on their first month's therapy. Just go to betterhelp.com forward slash JamieFYD. There is a link in the description and in the pinned comments. Guys, take care of yourself out there because you deserve to be happy and healthy. Thanks again to BetterHelp. Again, link is in the description. This is a huge deal because we all go through it in life and talking about it, yes, is the first thing, but acting upon it as well. Remember, link is in the description and the pinned comments. Let's get back to the video.
as you'll hear, exhaust blow, of course. Can't actually see anything out of this thing because there's so much stuff on it. And it goes in all gears, which is quite nice. I didn't necessarily know it went to reverse to first and all that. So maneuvering, no clunks, no nothing. Who knows? That part of it's all right. Okay, after a very terrible car cleaning session by myself again, I don't really clean cars, if I'm quite honest. I you have the worst array of jet wash and various things like that. I'm no car cleaner. I like driving them and maybe doing things to them. Put them out of barns. Anyway, I'll show you around because quite shocked at how good some bits are and of course there was hidden bits that we of course didn't notice when uh, looking at the pictures and seeing it on the driveway of all the dirt on it so haven't put anything on top of this just as it is i'm probably going to put uh, some sort of wax or well, ceramic oh, i don't know oh, i like cars but i don't like cleaning them there you go i said it out loud anyway let's start at the front we are going to have to do something with these headlights that's not going to pass an mot with those headlights like that so yeah we'll do something with the headlights when it comes to it i'm going to have to properly cut them back sand them the bonnet was obviously hiding a multitude of sins didn't realize that there was any lack of peel on this again it's not a bad thing but it's just something we're probably going to have to assess in the not so distant future quite a lot of lack of peel here uh, not necessarily that side though so maybe something's happened here or it's been sat with light on it I did notice in uh, the first couple of pictures there was a lot of I don't know, it looked like, it's not bird droppings, it was like something gooey was on this side of the car and I think that's probably contributed to this uh, starting to lacquer pill or maybe lift the lacquer on the front of the car. Bits that I did notice but didn't think was too bad and now we're really clean at the top, or well, as clean as I can get it. A couple of rust patches. These are very prone to rusty uh, patches just along the top of the windscreen and of course, you know, I did notice this but here they are in person. Again, not too bad, it's not going through, it's not actually, I think it's just probably surface, it's not, it doesn't seem like it's all the way through into, you know, the roof of the car, so that's really, really good. That's something, again, we can assess, maybe once we do something with this, we can get onto the roof. Other than that, though, genuinely, apart from, of course, you know, an undetailed car, it's slightly swirly, scratchy, with the scratch at the back of it, I haven't found anything else, literally, the paint is in very good condition, considering the mileage, how long it's been sat. The back end is very, very good. There's a couple of little bits here. It looks like something's maybe been resting on it. And I feel like here, maybe there was a GB sticker or something like that. Let me know if you're uh, more clued up with the sizing of the GB stickers in the comments below. But I mean, look how lovely this looks from, you know, a couple of feet away. It's looking really, really good. A little bit of something on there. Not too sure what that is. Other than that though, honestly, I am genuinely shocked at how nice this has come out, how much there isn't really underneath. The only little bit this side is a little bit of lacquer peel there. Other than that, honestly, I'm genuinely shocked at how lovely this thing is. There's no crazy dents apart from the ones I've already shown, no crazy scratches. So underneath all of that barn find dust, it's actually a really, really good car underneath. So just going through the interior of the Lexus, just cleaning it up off camera because no one wants to watch me hoover a car. So found some cable ties underneath this mat here, which is interesting. Interestingly more though, just found this here. I haven't opened it because I wanted to open it on camera. Oh, it's a large, oh, I was expecting a first aid kit. Okay, that's quite exciting. How do we get into it? Oh, it's two hands. Two hands, can I do it with one hand? Oh, I've done it with one hand. Oh, hello. Oh, what's this? I bought my LS, I was told the over. So it's basically instructing whoever had this car years ago, how to turn the radio on basically by resetting the security code. 
Not sure again who has left this in here. Thank you. 1905, I'm going to say that says. That might be the new code. We don't know. You never know what you're going to find in these cars. And that's, um, someone's took the time to type that up just so I can find it many, many years later. We'll keep that in the car just in case. Found this in the center console. The original, well, the last tax disc. If you guys remember when tax discs were a thing, you had to display this in the window of the car. Many, many years ago now. But it's cool that that's actually part of it. It's uh, come with the car in the center console. 2014 being maybe the last time that it was taxed through an actual show in the window tax disc. But that's cool. It's uh, only one in here, but it's cool either way. So I finished uh, messing around cleaning this thing, uh, getting it as clean as I want it to be for the minute. Thought I'd start it up and just leave it ticking over for a minute, just to make sure that there's no lights that come on, it starts after being hot, you know, various things like that. And if we jump back in, the interior is nice and as clean as it's gonna be for the minute. Ugh, put the heat on, make sure the heating's on, make sure the heating seats work, because that's one of those things. And yeah, it's been on for about, I'd say 15 minutes at this point, and it's absolutely fine. The uh, coolant temperature is crept up but not gone up the heating works yeah i can't actually fault this thing yet uh i will take it down my little lane that i have my house private driveway of course because this has no mot at the moment or no tax on it so i am going to keep it off road while i'm just you know doing bits to it ready for its mot i'm trying to work out why this was taken off the road and i haven't found it yet <laughs> so i'm sure there'll be something and we'll find out at the same time at the moment though now it's clean this is such a lovely car I'm gonna keep saying that. I'm so sorry, everyone, but it's just the nicest place to be. I'm gonna drive it down the drive quick, just see what happens, put it through the gears, put it through power and snow mode. We'll see. Definitely got to blow an exhaust. We need to sort that. <laughs> See, after that small and very brisk uh, drive down uh, the lane there, check the ABS works, that's absolutely fine. It kicks down from second into first and spun up a wheel. So I'm trying to work out why this came off the road. Like, we will find out, of course. I will probably daily drive this thing when it's uh, actually MOT'd, but it's such a waste of a car to have something like this sat in a barn. Like, it's such a lovely thing, and I know I've gone on about it, and it's boring. Cars like this don't exist anymore. Big engine, big luxury cars that are over-engineered, they don't exist as much as they used to. They're phased out so much. Lexus, when they brought this out, it just... It was a game changer and I'm so happy I get to own one and experience one with you guys as well and we get to go through the motions of what it's like to own something like this at this mileage and uh, yeah next up we will get it MOT'd maybe start modifying it I'm not sure it's one of those things in my head I'd love to modify it drop it on wheels put VIP bits in there and stuff but I also quite like it as it is I don't know maybe I'm becoming an old man it seems that way anyway thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you on the next one